here with your daily NCLEX review question. Today, our question is pretty straightforward, um, but let's go over it and see if we can pick the right answer together. So a patient has an as-needed prescription for Ondansetron or Zofran, for which condition should the nurse administer this medication? So remember, before we go to our answer options, we are going to pick out our keywords from the question. So one, our first keyword is that of the medication itself, um, Ondansetron or Zofran. So we have Zofran and then condition. So before we go to the question, the answer options, let's think what condition, what is Zofran? What type of medication is this? What conditions are we going to give the medication for? So we're going to use our knowledge of Zofran. We know that Zofran is an anti-emetic. We know that it is used for post-operative nausea and vomiting or nausea and vomiting from chemotherapy. We're going to give it for nausea and vomiting. So we know that before even moving on to the answer options. So let's move on to our answer options. So A is paralytic ileus. So a paralytic ileus is, um, to put it simply, is when the bowels are paralyzed um, and they're not functioning properly. So while someone with a paralytic ileus could experience nausea and vomiting and, and likely will experience nausea and vomiting, we're not going to give Zofran for directly for paralytic ileus. B is incisional pain. So we know that Zofran is an antiemetic. It is not a pain medication. So we can rule out B as an answer. C, urinary retention. Again, Zofran is an antiemetic. It is will not be used for urinary retention. And D is nausea and vomiting. So before we even moved on to our answer choices, we knew that we would give Zofran for nausea and vomiting. So nausea and vomiting, D is your correct answer. Like I said, this question is pretty straightforward and it requires having the knowledge of the medication and knowing what that medication is used for. But these are, are pretty easy on the NCLEX um, as far as you know that, that medication and that drug class. All right, have a good one.